Hi. So we downloaded, or actually I should say Craig downloaded some sounds from this website called IWantThatSound.com. And then we were like, okay, how are we going to get them into Logic? So what we did was follow the information they had on their support page. I'm having trouble with Logic Pro 10 <laughs> and the EXS24 isn't finding the samples. We went through all of the information here and uh, it didn't work, unfortunately. So a few days passed, a couple songs went by, and now um, Craig said again, well, let's try to get these things to work. I said, okay. So I went into Logic and I was trying to understand exactly what the lingo was so that I knew I would know what exactly to look for on um, on YouTube to find some examples of this. I looked through the Logic book that I have, the Logic Pro 10 kind of uh, textbook that I have, and I couldn't find anything there um, that was kind of easy to follow. So I went online and we found this guy here from the Minneapolis Media Institute, and this one was a really good video. I recommend watching that. And then we found this other video here too, that is the EXS24 sampler for drums. And it's basically bringing the drum set or bringing drum samples into the EXS24 so that you can trigger them with your MIDI controller. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to hide Safari for now. I'm going to open up Logic blah, 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 and I'm going to create a new project from a template. And I already have a simple template set up that I like to use that I created for our music. And what you will need is an instrument track. Um, there are audio tracks and then there are instrument tracks, and I already have this uh, set up in um, Logic in this template. And from here, I like to close this out. Um, from here, actually, before I put the instrument in there, I want to show you one thing, what you'll need to do. Um, you need to save your project. And we need to make sure that you have the EXS instruments and samples selected. So I like to just keep all of these selected when I'm creating a project. And I also like to save them as a folder because that just makes it easier for me to navigate when I need to find an audio file or something. Okay, and so I'll go ahead and click save. Just make sure that the EXS instruments and samples is checked. And we're just gonna, I just use the default name. I mean, whatever for the, for the purpose of this. And then, um, so we'll add in the EXS24 sampler here as a stereo file. And what we'll want to do is click on Edit. And then from here, um, this is where we're going to be adding in our audio files. And normally, let's see what we will do. Um, there's a couple of ways to do this. You can take these audio files and bring them actually into the project here, or you can just drag and drop them into this window here. You can do either, either way. Um, if you do drag into this window, um, into your project files here, you'll have to drag them again into this other window here. So I'm just gonna drag them and drop them right into here. So uh, like I said, we downloaded those um, drum audio files. So they're already downloaded. And I put them in, just in case you want to know where to put them in your computer, um, put your audio files or your impulse responses into uh, Macintosh HD, you know, your hard drive, the library, audio, and then impulse responses. And I created a shortcut here just so that I can get to the impulse responses easily. And here are those drums. 
and as you can see they're all in a bunch of different files here and if you just keep going and going and going you, you'll finally get to these wave files so I think there's an easier drum set here let's see yeah here we go here's an easier one um, so we'll start with this one and we'll, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of these and I'm just going to drag them and drop them right in there and then what it's going to do is it's going to ask me if I want to uh, create continu contiguous zones and I do so I want to start at C1 which is like the low note on my MIDI controller and so I'll click OK and you'll see that they're in there now named all nice and neat and then also uh, correspond they correspond to the little MIDI notes up here so now if I play my keyboard they should play so there you go Wow. Okay. So there they are. And from here, what you can do is you can just go ahead and close out or you can save as. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out. It's going to ask me if I want to save it. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save this one as, oh gosh, what was the name of it again? This one is called Cinematic Pop Free. So I'm just going to use the same name so that I don't get confused later on. But you can name it whatever you want. That sound, Cinematic Pop Free. And I'm going to click Save. OK. And then now when I open up my EXS24, you'll see I have it here and you can see the other ones that I've already loaded before I loaded some Lin drums last night really lots of fun um, oh the other thing I wanted to show you was if you have um, like if you look at this other one, this Ben Phillips, and you see how all of the drums are like in different folders and stuff. So it's, it's tedious work. I haven't found out a way to import a folder into um, the EXS24. So basically, I'm going to just go uh, for a new instrument and and uh, basically I just I'm gonna go into every single folder and drag and drop into here right and I thought this would be pretty easy just go through the same thing but when I came to this second folder and I went to click into here it didn't automatically start at the next note. It went back to the C1 again. And I was like, well, I don't want to do that. So what I did and what you can do is you can click on these. And if you look down at the bottom here, you see there's a one, two, three that we've loaded in already. So uh, if you want to bring these next four in, you can drag and drop directly onto the very next key and so then they're all in line so you could kind of avoid that little trick and I'm gonna take the dirty hats and do the same thing go into the very next note click OK and so on until I get all of them in there And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to, instead of clicking on close, I'm going to actually uh, save it. Um, I'm going to save as sampler instruments. 
This one is called, I forgot already. <laughs> ben Phillips Free, TS Ben Phillips Free. Okay. Okay, that should do it. Okay, bye.